แมทอัลโลค่ะ and happy greetings to all of you welcome to Thursday's introduction evening in the Dao calligraphy field my name is Naomi and I am a student at the Satori Family Wellness Center here on Maui it is my honor and my great pleasure to introduce you to Annette Omuro, who will be leading tonight's session. She is a retired teacher who has taught in the public school system for 34 years. Annette is one of the co-owners of the Satori Family Wellness Center and is a certified master teacher of the Dao Academy. Annette is also a Love Peace Harmony field facilitator and a Dao calligraphy practitioner. For a number of years now, I have been attending Annette's classes, weekly classes. And I would like to invite all of you to join her end of the month two-day workshop. It's held the last Monday and Tuesday of each month. She breaks up the workshop into two days, an um, hour session each and is always, always filled with such wonderful teachings, profound wisdom, and powerful practices. So please, everyone, please take advantage of this great opportunity to be with Annette Omuro. Now, please join me in welcoming her. Hi, Annette, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Naomi, such a kind introduction. I'm so grateful to be here today. You know, we've been gone for um, several days. We were in Toronto. I think it was about 10 days. <clears throat> but it's wonderful to be back. But it was just wonderful to be with our uh, beloved teacher, Dr. and Master Shaw. But you know, it is really my pleasure to be here to offer this wonderful uh, Dao calligraphy field so that you can experience what it is. And it is through really the generosity of our teacher, Dr. Shah, that he says that we can offer this free evening so we can have more people experience the field. And so if you, you know, we don't have too many of you on at this time, but if you know of anyone, you can send them the link and tell them to join us because it is a very, very powerful place to be. The frequency and vibration is so high. And I know many of you have friends or relatives that may be going through some challenges in their life. And this is the place to be so that they can experience some miracles that are happening. <clears throat> Thank you for you know joining um, me this evening. And I'm hoping that more will be joining in. <clears throat> so let me see. You know, I will put out the Dao Chang level one Dao calligraphy field and make sure that you keep the field within your heart, but don't take any photos or still shots because this, it is a very, very sacred calligraphies. And so we need to honor heaven, you know, by not taking any photos of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, I've experienced being in the field in Toronto this past um, 10 days. We just came back um, two days ago. And you know, the thing is, I had this um, sciatica on this side and you know, I was practicing in the field here on Maui and it went away. But just before leaving for the retreat, my right side was just so painful, I could hardly walk. and but I knew that I needed to be there. So, you know, we're so grateful that they have wheelchair service, but I actually volunteered for, you know, a, a greeter's uh, job and I had to take my name off. I said, oh, I don't think I could stand that long because it was very painful. And, um, but I was in the field there in Toronto for three days and the pain disappeared and I was able to walk. So I went back and I signed up, you know, to be a greeter and 
you know, it was wonderful that I could do that. But that is how powerful these calligraphies are. So, you know, we need to be in the field as much as we can. As our teacher would say, you know, we take a shower all the time. But being in the field is like an inward shower. We're washing the inside of us, removing our negative messages and our negative information from our soul, hearts, minds, and body so that we can live happier and healthier lives. So, you know, um, it was um, so wonderful to meet, um, you know, I always shared this uh, callig not calligraphy, but the video of Carmen, who, you know, was actually told by her doctors that they could do nothing for her. And so she searched around the world. So what I'm going to do is, I know you've seen this video many times, but when you are watching the video, connect with what she's saying. Connect even with the calligraphies, you know, and you might get another aha moment. You know, this is an introductory evening, so we do put on, you know, calligraphies that um, and videos that are, uh, you know, repeat the videos, but I think you always get something new out of it. So let me share her, um, well, let me see. Let me share the video of her. I'm wondering, okay, let me see. Oh, here we are. Traveling it's like the blood in my veins. It enlivens me. I love to discover and experience different culture, different people and places around the world. Life is a journey that can take us to some unexpected places. In 2013, it took me to India, Nepal, China, United States, Turkey, in search of a cure that would save my life. It was like a pilgrimage of hope for me. When I received the diagnosis for breast cancer, I didn't panic. I wasn't feeling fear. I cried a lot and felt liberated. My mind was very clear that I was going to follow my heart. I decided I did not want to go through the conventional treatment of chemotherapy. I wanted to explore another alternative medicine to heal from it. For a year, in 2013, I traveled the world looking for a cure. I tried traditional Chinese medicine treatments, learned Qigong in China. I learned to do yoga and meditation in India. I went to see a herbal doctor in Nepal. After two years, there was no improvement in my tumor condition. It was very difficult for me to accept and to wait. I tried to convince her to follow the surgery. Please do this for the children's sake, for the family's sake. So finally, I decided to go to Istanbul for surgery and chemotherapy. The cancer treatment was successful and it went into remission. I was ready to embrace my life fully again, without the burden and the worry of whether I will be around anymore or how much time I have left. Life was good again.
And then life decided to take me on another journey into the unknown. A year later, a blood test showed high markers for tumor. This time, the cancer had metastasized to my liver and it was already 80% covered with cancer. The doctor told me it was too advanced for liver transplant or surgery. They told me I didn't have much time left. And uh, the most difficult part was when the doctors told us there is no solution anymore and uh, there is not so much time. This was the most difficult to, to accept. I was feeling very, very sad, very depressed. I was crying from time to time. I was not able to save her at, at the end. We flew to Houston, Texas, to get a second opinion on my prognosis, and it was the same. The oncologist wasn't able to help me. After the discussion with the doctors in Houston, we had the flight back to Europe. I told her very open and honestly that I would rather die in her place, because I was sure that for our children it would be better with a mother than with a father. When Dragos said that to me, it really made me more determined to stay alive. I remember calling Dragos one afternoon and told him I saw vision, a Chinese man. I told him I know there is a Chinese healer who is going to save my life. A few months later, a friend invited me to a healing retreat. I received some remote healing transmission from Master Shan, who was in Toronto, and I was in Netherlands. I was on the stage receiving this transmission, and I felt very emotional, and tears came. Everyone in the room was clapping and cheering for me. I felt very alive. When I met Master Shah in person in 2019 at a healing retreat in Hawaii, I finally connected the dots. I realized he was the Chinese man I saw in my vision. This was the man who was going to save my life. Just three months after more healing blessing from Master Shah, my MRI showed that I only had one dot of cancer left on the membrane of my liver. One dot. Before the healing blessings, my liver was 80% covered with cancer. It was truly a miracle. I continued to do Dao Calligraphy Tai Chi two hours a day at home together with my husband Dragos. I would trace Dao Calligraphy with my hands and my body like doing Tai Chi. I can feel the healing frequencies of love and light coming to parts of my body. I felt energy moving and my body became warm. Every time I traced, I started to feel better. And the frequency is even stronger when I trace with my husband Dragos together. And he can feel it too. You have to experience it to know it. Dao calligraphy is a sacred transformative art that carries healing frequencies. You just connect with this healing field and it really worked for me. Dear Divine, dear Dao, dear all my spiritual fathers and mothers in heaven, I love you, I honor you and I appreciate you. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. I also do this forgiveness meditation daily to heal the negative messages that have caused my cancer condition on the soul level. This meditation is very powerful to help me release a lot of soul, heart, mind and body blockages. I picked up the Chinese brush for the first time in my life. I didn't know what to expect. I never saw before a Chinese calligraphy, but it was magic. When you start, you have to experience it, otherwise it's difficult to, to describe the peace that you can feel and the healing which starts from within. You immediately start feeling like you are connected with something, with something bigger than your understanding and uh, your mind. 
I decided to become Tao calligraphy practitioner. We are feeling like we are doing something, you know, it's not like waiting without a solution, we are doing something, we are fighting for something together on the same journey. I never asked why me. In my heart, I wasn't afraid of dying. If this is what God wanted for me, there must be something I must learn from it. When I met Master Shah for the first time, I was very moved by the great love that he has for everyone. His heart of service really touched me. I knew there are bigger reasons for me to meet Master Shah, not just to heal from my cancer. He can teach me something. Nine months later, after my trip to Hawaii, where I met Master Shah, I went back for my MRI in December 2019. This time, the result showed that all my cancer was gone. I never imagined that my life would be saved by calligraphy art. We are very happy and very grateful that uh, my mom is uh, healthy and that she's healed and um, that we get to spend a lot of time with her and that we still have her in our lives. What I learned from Master Shah is I have the power to heal myself. You have the power to heal yourself. Together we have the power to heal the world. Now, Dragos and I can apply the Dao calligraphy techniques we learned and using Dao calligraphy, we can heal ourselves and our family. I have healed my children from headaches, from the flu and many things. My family is happier and healthier thanks to Dao calligraphy healing. I feel the energy coming to my body and I feel better. Usually when I have headaches, she made me trace the calligraphy 10-15 minutes and it helped me. It just works, I don't know how. It's just coming to me. I feel more, more powerful when I trace. With the Tao calligraphy cards, I bring them to school every day and uh, it helps me focus more on my exams. My cancer was really a blessing in disguise. It showed me a new way of living, of healing and transformation. I have more courage to love more, care more, live to the fullest of my life. I am grateful for all the places that life has taken me. It has taught me to open my heart to discover that life is full of miracles. We just need to be open to receive it. I just love watching, you know, this video because it makes me realize really the power of Tao calligraphy field. And, you know, she was there at the retreat and I'd like to share with you what she looks like, you know, at the present. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, you know, when she had her cancer, it was like 2014. 14 and many people would say, oh, I wonder how she is now. She is looking better than ever. So, you know, when you see something like this, you realize that what we are given, you know, this powerful Tao calligraphy field, we need to take advantage of it and to make use of it so that we can also live 
happier and healthier lives. And so I'm hoping that many of you will let others know about our free wellness evening. And you know, like today we don't have too many because I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I I did send you know the links out, but call people and let them know that we're still on. But they can also watch the recording. So, you know, that is wonderful. But it's, you know, as she said, when she and her husband used to trace together, she could feel the power. Master Shah always talks about group power, you know, the power of practicing in a group. And that's why when we come together like this and we practicing in a group and watching the video in a group exponentially, the power is even greater. So today we're going to do practice tracing one of the calligraphies and it's going to be da i okay so let us practice with the dao calligraphy da i this is da i greatest love so when we are practicing we're going to put our hands like this together five fingers together and trace because the five fingers represents the five elements, you know, in our, within our body. So you go around three times the circle like this. Da, this is the Tao. Okay, so three times, Tao. And then you go on the inside. Da, greatest, this is greatest. And try your best to connect and really focus on the pathway because this is the connection you are aligning with the Tao source. Tao is the creator. You know, Tao, frequency of the Tao, and it connects with the 10 greatest nature of the Tao. So even if you're tracing Da I, which is one of the first qualities of the Tao, we are also connecting with Da Quan Chu, which is greatest forgiveness, Da Sabe, which is greatest compassion, Da Guang Ming, greatest light, and then <clears throat> Da Chen Be, which is greatest humility, Da Ho She, greatest harmony, then Da Chang Shan, which is greatest flourishing, Da Gan En, greatest gratitude, Da Fu Wu, greatest service, and Da Wan Man, greatest enlightenment. And all of these 10 Da are within each calligraphy. So when you're connecting with Da I, you're also connecting with all the other, you know, um, qualities of the source. So today we're going to be doing Da I. And I will <clears throat> chant while you are tracing. You can also chant or trace with your lower abdomen by you know putting your hand right in front of your lower abdomen and then move you know this is Tao Tai Chi you know you saw Carmen and her husband doing this movement when she says it's like Tao Tai Chi when Master Sha was here in Hawaii he said this is like Tao Hula you know and then you just you know as you are tracing with your lower abdomen the foundational energy centers reside in the lower abdomen. This is the core of our body. So when you are tracing, it becomes so powerful. You know, you can just feel. And as Carmen said, the energy is moving, right? So you can do it either way, or you could sit, you know, but as we said, when you're doing the movement and when you're doing the tracing, you're really the power is um, greater but you can just sit because some of you may not be feeling well so you're lying down do not chant out loud when you are lying down because you dissipate your energy okay but you can trace with your eyes right or you can just close your eyes and feel the frequency and vibration flowing into you that light that's coming from this powerful field. Okay, so let us begin. Oh, before we begin, I 
think I need to do this because this is very important. Master Shah's words are very important. You notice that she was tracing from this book, the greatest love book, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you so that you can get a better understanding. And today, you know, in this book, there are healing for emotional bodies and, you know, other parts of your body, but we're going to do self-healing for any condition. So, you know, while we're doing the practice, you can silently make your request, re request when I say. Now, there are so many kinds of challenges in the physical body, emotional body, mental body, and spiritual body. In my teaching, love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Da I, which is greatest love, can transform all kinds of challenges and blockages. So here we are. You know, the book also has the Da I, but as you know, we know that Every calligraphy has a different frequency and vibration. The highest frequency we would have in the Dao Chang, you know, we're having it right here because it's already activated for you, for your purpose, right? And so when you are tracing, even if you have a book, you can trace with your book when you're not in the field. But when you're in the field, trace the one that's on the screen because this is from the level one Dao Chang, which the frequency and vibration is so high okay so for body power you can either face the calligraphy and hold your fingers together like this in one hand and then you're going to trace as i showed you how to trace you know like this and then place your other hand in the area that needs a healing you know you need um, a transformation or nourishment for so if you need a healing for your heart you can place your hand here and then you can be tracing or maybe in your stomach area or maybe your shoulder you know and then do this for your body power for soul power i'm going to say dear the sentient of my and i will name the area so do it at this time dear the sentient of my if you had a heart problem say my heart or whatever silently say and make your request i love you you have some blockages and you can clear these blockages by yourself do a great job thank you now let us say hello to the outer soul dear divine the Tao source my name is and then say your name three times i deeply apologize for all of the mistakes my ancestors and I have made in all lifetimes. I ask for forgiveness for my ancestors and me. And I know in my heart and soul to only ask for forgiveness is not enough. I have to serve. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. I am so grateful for all of the blessings. Thank you. And our teacher also included, to serve is also to empower others and to enlighten them as well. And now we say to all the souls, my ancestors and I have hurt, harmed, or taken advantage of in any way in this lifetime and all lifetimes, please forgive my ancestors and me for our mistakes against you. I am deeply sorry. I offer my unconditional forgiveness to all souls who have hurt or harmed my ancestors and me in all my lifetimes. Please accept my forgiveness and say I forgive you you forgive me bring love peace and harmony thank you thank you 
thank you. And now, dear the said Jing of Divine Tao and the Source, Tao Calligraphy of Da Ai, I love you. Please bless, and again say the name of your area or the condition you want healed. Please nourish, enrich, and bless me as appropriate. I am very grateful. Thank you so much. And so we're going to do the sound of Da Ai, and I will chant it for you, and then we'll play the music. Okay? And then, let's see. Visualize this bright golden light shining in the area of your request. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the tracing power, and I want you to start by tracing with your hands or with your lower abdomen, okay? I'm going to um, set up my thing, so. Da, I, da, I, wu tiao jie, and I, ro, wa, sai, na, Xin Ching Shami. I'm sorry, my throat. Da I 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 Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. And now we'll do it with the music, with Master Shah singing, okay? Let us begin. Oh, 
And then we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Now this is very powerful as we were tracing, you know, our negative messages and our negative information that we carry on our soul, hearts, mind, and bodies are being released. And that is how we start to feel better. So I know we didn't trace it for too long. Um, you know, you can trace it. Uh, Master Shaoli says, the longer you do it, the better. And you know, if you do have chronic ailments or uh, life-threatening, you know, you do two hours or more. And that is what Carmen did. Because we need to do our part, right? We get a blessing and then we have to do our part so that we can have 100%. 50% heaven gives the blessing and humanity need to do their practice, 50%. Is there anyone who'd like to just share, you know, what they experience just by tracing this greatest love, doubt, calligraphy? You can just unmute if you wish. Oh, let's see. I I have some messages. You know, usually I have someone helping. Okay, so aloha everyone. Hi, Auntie Annette. Happy and honored to be here with all of you. And I'm loving this introduction. Thank you. I'm so grateful for that. And Naomi said, thank you everyone for joining this evening. And as Pumana said, such a potent video. Yes, everyone needs to hear her message. And that is so true. You know, we don't realize the power and significance of this wonderful, wonderful um, Tao calligraphy feel that we are experiencing at this time and you know i know many of you are watching you know with your cameras closed but when we are doing practices you need to focus i mean i was guilty before when i used to multitask you know because they can't see me on the camera but you know when you're focused you get more benefits by tracing by really listening to what is going on so at this time, you know, many of you have sent in evaluations from this uh, evening's uh, program. And I will send you, you know, the, I, I'm not sure how many of you are here, but I will send you an evaluation so you can write, you know, what you feel about these complimentary um, Dow calligraphy evening that we're having. And what we do is we put that evaluation, your name in a box, and then we shake it up, and then we ask Kevin to choose. And so tonight we have a lucky draw winner, and that is Puamana. So I will offer her, in this month we had um, a wonderful, powerful gift. We're going to have the um, Dow Golden Light Ball and Dow Golden Liquid Spring from the calligraphy Da Hoshe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to offer Puamana her gift, okay? So the field of Da Hoshe has been activated. So we are saying Da Hoshe, Da Golden Light Ball, Da Golden Liquid Spring. It's now turned on. And so what we do is I will call in Puamana's name and I will say, Dao order, please prepare this Dao calligraphy of Da Hoshe, Dao golden light ball, and Dao golden liquid spring for Puamana for her re request. And she can silently say her request. It, you can use it for a body part an organ or a condition or a system okay so silently say and i will because you're going to do it again but let's see 
So I'm preparing to see if we're ready. Dial order. Da Hoshe, golden light ball and golden liquid spring to the beloved soul of Puamana for her silently make your request at this time as appropriate. Transmission! How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Dear the Tao Calligraphy, Tao Hashe, please rest. Treasures, all your treasures can be joined as one at this time. And at this time, Puamana, I would like for you to turn on your Da Hoshe Da Golden Light Ball and Golden Liquid Spring and bless those that are present and those that may watch the, you know, it's a one-time blessing that you're offering as most appropriate with your treasure that you just received. So each of you, you're so blessed, make a request for an area and Pumana will send a blessing to her new treasure that she received, her Dao light treasure. Dao blessing. golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring of Da He She, Dao calligraphy. Please bless everyone on the line as most appropriate. Blessings start two minutes. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. The Dao Golden Light Ball, Dao Golden Liquid Spring of the Dao Calligraphy Da He She Treasure. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, that was powerful. So much light. Thank you, Puamala. Thank you to the Da He She Dao Golden Light Ball, Dao Golden Liquid Spring. This is a powerful blessing. Is there anyone who would like to share? Some of you may have third eye, uh, you know, 
openings and if you'd like to share this is a wonderful time to share you know our teacher always says when you share the virtue just flows into you, you get all of these flowers and virtue is actually food for the soul so you know it uplifts our soul so if you have anything to share please do unmute yourself and then you can share something Thank you, Master Annette. Is it okay if I share? Yes, please do. Thank you. First of all, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so grateful and humbled and honored to have been chosen to be the lucky draw. And when I was notified about it, I was so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I know, you're blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you, Master Shah in heaven. Uh, so, you know, when I received a treasure and you were doing the invocation, immediately I saw the treasure as the dull golden light ball literally above my head. And it was so huge. And it's really amazing how these dull light treasures, they come into the crown, into the body, and they go through an adjustment process of integrating into the physical body. And what I saw in my third eye was that there was all this beautiful liquid light, like golden liquid light that came through my crown and it just penetrated through my whole body until this, um, the golden light ball, it's still integrating, but I saw it go into this you know, because it's in Tao time, so it, it happens in its own time, but it, it went and formed into a light ball into my lower abdomen and combined with all of the treasures that I've received. But when I was offering the treasure to everyone for two minutes, it was so powerful. It looked like beautiful spirals of liquid light like golden liquid light that was going to the areas of where everyone's request was. And in the areas that anyone might have had negative information that was that's or blockages in their body or in that area in their body, it was it looked like when the liquid light, the spiral liquid light went to that area, it looked like electricity, like it just exploded and electricity went into that area and penetrated that area. And then again, it would start spiraling into the next area, wherever it needed it. And wherever, for example, if someone had a bigger blockage in one area of the body, it would stay there longer. And then it would continue to spiral through the whole body, just so the radiance of the Tao source light could penetrate through. And, and like, it's almost like taking a deep breath and breathing in. And how this light just spirals through and like is able to like have an inhale and an exhale. And that inhale and exhale become smoother. That's kind of the, what, what I was seeing. So thank you so much, Master Annette. So grateful. Thank you to Satori family and to Laurie and Chami for this honor. I'm so grateful for oh, also God. to Master Shaw for the healing evening. It's yeah. such an honor. Thank yes. you. Oh, thank you, Poamana. You know, we're very blessed because when she received this golden light bulb, golden liquid spring from the Dahoshe dial calligraphy, you know, we received the splash. She got the permanent light bulb, right? The treasure, but we got the splash. And then she offers us a blessing. That is huge. And I, you know, I really actually felt I didn't, you know, at first I said, oh, maybe I should do for my lungs because I was having trouble with my throat. And, but I guess I was guided to my heart. And you know, I, it, it's not only my physical heart, but actually my heart opens further as well. So I, I'm just feeling really light and I feel really good. So I'm very grateful for the blessing. And I thank Master Shaw for creating these powerful calligraphies so that we can live happier and healthier lives. So thank you, Pamana, for sharing. We're very, very blessed. And so, you know, we are going to be having this um, uh, weekend on tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, Saturday, a very special uh, event. Let me see if I, I have to get out of this so that I can see. Um, yes. Okay, go to your chat and Brittany put in 
um, the it says new April 2024 special blessing session you know Laurie and I just came back from uh, Toronto and Jamie was here doing all the rest of the work but she also received blessings as well but you know um, we are going to offer a session because you know when we just come back we're we have been in the field for 10 days and oh my gosh just being in the field even for this evening for many of you can feel the power the difference but we'd like to share with you you know some of the things that we can offer and you know um the registration is here the honoring fee is just 38 dollars, and if you are on the premium plan you can put in uh, your code for your discount but the rest of you you know to be for an hour and a half and to know about what type of blessings we can offer and you know we are so grateful and to our teacher for uplifting our soul and all of you who come here every thursday or to any of the workshops or any of the sessions that we have you come because you want to uplift your soul and like today Pomana received that powerful blessing her soul also got uplifted so please join us if you can and if you can't make it live we will have the recording so you know if we're offering a blessing you will get a one-time blessing so you're not going to miss out okay but um, if you can make it please come so there are um, the links here so you can just copy and paste it and you know join us on saturday and the time has changed um i think we said it was i don't know if they changed the time oh yeah it is at one o'clock i think earlier we had it at a different time but we're doing it from 1 to 2 30 p.m so please join us i hope you can join us okay so if there are any questions just text laurie Jamie, or myself okay so um let's see we do have time see i uh, put down that we're going to do the energy practice in the field so i'm going to put share the field again okay and we're going to do this energy practice which is very very powerful okay so being in the field and doing the practices are beyond i mean our imagination you can do the practices on your own which is very powerful by chanting and using your the book calligraphies but to come to the Dao Chang field and doing the practice oh exponentially the power is so much greater and the frequency is so much higher and so make a re request while we're doing the <clears throat> oh what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the um uh energy which is the healing circle i'm sorry i need to go back to share that video okay so let me see the video okay so we're going to do this practice um the chi channel which is the energy channel and we're going to be clearing the spaces you know the seven soul houses as master shah calls it some of you may call it seven chakras and then right in the front of your spinal column there is a large space okay and in those areas we have a lot of blockages and you know negative messages information so while we do this practice we're cleansing those areas so we are going to do the practice with our teacher's voice we're very blessed and we can i will be on the side and you can hold your hand like this hey hong hong ah she won't you hey hong hong ah she won't you hey hong hong ah she won't you hey hong hong ah she won't you
，黑哼哼啊，西翁哟，黑哼哼啊，西翁哟。黑哼哼啊，西翁哟！黑哼哼啊，西翁哟 ！Wonderful. Let's see. Um, I think we, I have time to do the Jin Channel, which is the. Rejuvenation and you know to prolong your life, so we do this one as well because we're in the field. I want you to experience the power and you know get as much as you can by doing these practices in the field. We're so very blessed. Okay, so we go the opposite way. Okay. Yo, Wang Yi Xi Ya Hong Hong Hei. 哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。哟，翁一西呀，红康嘿。So these practices are very, very important because they're purifying and you know removing the blockages from the spaces in our body. So this is how we heal and rejuvenate. And you know, in the traditional Chinese medicine, where、um, It's a five thousand year old philosophy or teachings that they say when the energy starts to move, then the blood starts to flow, and if the energy is not moving, the blood gets stuck there. We can have tumors, we can have all these other types of diseases, and that's the reason why we try to move the energy going, you know, purifying those energy,、um, those areas as well, so that we can start to heal. And transform our lives. So we're very, very blessed that we are able to do all of these practices in the field. I just wanted you to experience what it feels like to do the practices in the field. And many of you who are sensitive enough to, you know, like Pomana has、um, her third eye opening. Many of you have open channels. You can just feel. You get the messages. What is happening? Some of us we may not. No, because Master Shah says when the frequency is so high, sometimes you don't even feel, you know, anything. But something is happening, and it's a good thing. So we're very, very grateful that we can be here to have you experience the power of the Tao calligraphy field. We are so grateful. So every Thursday evening at seven to eight, please join us, and please let your friends know that there is. You know, a place that you, they can go to, so that they can start to live happier and healthier lives. So I thank each and every one of you for joining tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see.、Um, I'm going to just.